Hey everybody, it's Alex, the founder and CEO at Motoroso.com, and in this video, we're gonna take a close-up look at the new VR-tuned piggyback tuning module for the brand new 2.7 liter full-size Bronco. Now, when it comes to making more horsepower and torque on modern engines, the key to doing so has been ECU tuning. But in recent years, a lot of manufacturers have been clamping down on the computer, making it harder and harder to access and do ECU tuning, and on top of that, if they catch you doing it, they're more than happy to void your warranty. And for that reason, piggyback modules have become very popular. Instead of tuning the ECU, they simply sit on top of the computer system and they push the boost a little bit further, resulting in more power and more torque. And they don't imprint on the ECU. That means it's not gonna affect your warranty, which is pretty important, especially because these new Broncos just came out, so everybody's got a warranty and probably wants to keep it. Now, VR Tuned has released this piggyback module and it can produce up to 54 horsepower and 100 pound-feet of torque gains on something that is incredibly easy to install. Of course, it comes with the necessary wiring harness and it plugs in line with the map and the T-map sensors and we're going to show you how to install that and then you simply mount this unit inside the engine bay and you're going to instantly have access to a significant bump in power. And of course, this harness is made with OEM quality connectors and fittings and it's got a weather sealed box which is going to stand up to all the punishment that you could put your Bronco through. The VR Tune module has seven different levels of maps that you can choose from. On the zero setting, it's gonna just basically run like stock. And up on the level seven setting, when they had that with 93 octane fuel, they were putting out 54 additional horsepower and 100 pound feet of torque, which is a pretty nice gain. And everything in between is gonna be on that spectrum in that range, just depending on how hard it's gonna push the boost. And you adjust that using the two plus and minus buttons here on the module. Now they also sell this for an additional $50 with a Bluetooth app functionality, which allows you to then change that setting on the fly from your phone, which of course you can do from the cab of your Bronco. We think that's an absolute no-brainer because if you want to go between the settings, you got to stop the car, get out, open the hood, and press the buttons. So that is definitely the way that we would recommend getting that, and we've of course opted for that. And in our install guide, we'll show you how to connect the Bluetooth device and make your changes. VR Tuned also includes this little defeat module that lets you unplug the box and plug that right back in, and it's as if this was not installed whatsoever. And of course, we sell this VR Tune device, and we'll put a link to the Bluetooth version here, and we'll put a link to the Bluetooth and non-Bluetooth versions also in the description of the video. And those links will take you over to Motoroso.com, where we sell this and many, many other products, and there you can reach us on live chat, and you can always call us toll-free at 833-MOTOROSO for support anytime. Now, as I mentioned, the guys at VR Tuned on 93 octane gas out there in Arizona, they managed to get a gain of 54 horsepower and 100 foot pounds of torque. Now, we live in California and we're going to be testing on 91 gas and the gas here sucks. So we're not expecting to see that level of gains. But what we're going to do is go ahead and take our Bronco over onto the dyno and we're going to run it in stock trim and then we're going to run it in level seven and find out just how much gains we get in a real world application at the wheels on our brand new 2.7 liter Bronco. But before we do that, we're gonna show you how easy it is to install this. Let's start by disconnecting the negative battery terminal. Now there are two sides to the wiring harness clearly labeled A and B. Side A will be going to the map sensor at the top of the intake manifold, and side B will be going to the T-map sensor just before the throttle body as shown here. Now we are going to mount the tuning box to the top of the fuse box, so make sure to start running your wiring harness from the fuse box. Carefully and neatly route the A side of the wiring harness from the fuse box over to the map sensor, making sure to avoid anything hot, sharp, or rotating. Do the same running the B side of the harness over to the throttle body as we've done here. To disconnect the plug on the T-map sensor, pull back on the white tab to unlock it and then press down on the white tab to release the connector and pull it off. Then connect the OEM harness to the female connector on the VR tuned harness, then slide the white tab to lock it. Now it is possible to connect this T-MAP connector backwards. If you do so, you will get a check engine light and it will not run clean and you won't be happy. Make sure to connect the two plugs in the orientation shown here. Then simply plug in the male end of the harness into the T-MAP sensor and slide the locking tab. Repeat the same process for connecting the MAP sensor. This connector can only be connected one way so you don't have to worry about the orientation. With everything connected, now make sure to zip tie the loose harness to prevent it from flopping around Again, making sure to keep it away from anything hot, sharp, or rotating. We're going to mount our VR tune box on top of the fuse box using Velcro. Now, they only supplied zip ties, but we think this is going to look cleaner. We prepared the fuse box surface by using rubbing alcohol to clean it. Then we applied a large patch of Velcro on the fuse box cover and another patch on the VR tuning module with the harness connector facing toward the firewall. 
connect the main harness connector, simply slide out the purple locking mechanism, place the connector, and then press the locking mechanism in to secure it. If at any point you want to remove the box and set the vehicle back to stock, you can quickly remove the tuning box and plug in the defeat module. With everything installed, you can now reconnect the negative battery terminal. With the vehicle turned on, you can adjust the power levels between 1 and 7 using the plus and minus buttons on the module and the number will display on the screen. However, we highly recommend using the Bluetooth app with this VR tuned and we'll show you how to do that now. First download the app by scanning the QR code in the instruction guide or visiting the case sensitive URL we're displaying here. Install the app like any other app you would on your smartphone. Next, we're going to turn on the ignition of our Bronco, but without starting the engine. This will provide power to the tuner box and allow us to connect it. When you open the app, there will be a red button that says Add Product, and you'll be prompted to add the serial number of your VR Tune device. You can either manually type this or use their scanner to scan the serial number. You'll also need to make note of the last six digits of your serial number because this will be your Bluetooth pin that you'll enter when the device asks you to pair. Once you're connected, you can now start the vehicle and the app will allow you to switch between Eco, Sport, and Race modes. The tuning levels of each of these modes can be custom set by selecting the Fine Tuning button, and then you can select the preset you want for each of these modes. We decided to set these at level 1 for Eco, level 5 for Sport, and level 7 for Race. From the Fine Tuning menu, you can also set a warm-up timer, which will leave the vehicle in stock mode while the engine comes up to temperature and then switch to the most recent mode you left it in. For example, if you run in level 7 all the time and you set your timer for 3 minutes as we do, your vehicle will run in stock for 3 minutes and then switch to the full power level 7 automatically. Switching between modes is as easy as touching the mode you'd like to use. The device will stay in this mode until you make a change. Your app does not have to be running for your VR module to work. The app will also allow you to power off the VR Tune device, which is the equivalent to plugging in the defeat module, and in off mode your Bronco is essentially stock. You can reactivate through the app and this will default to the last mode you are in. We wanted to truly test the power gains that were being claimed by VR Tuned, and the only way to do that is to put the vehicle on the dyno. Luckily our friends over at Poker Jack Automotive have a four wheel drive dyno and we were able to take the Bronco over there and do a few runs in 4A. Now just a quick caveat, the dynos can range dramatically in the power numbers they read and there are a million ways to slice this pie, but since we're running on the same dyno, we think it's at least a good way to see what gains can really be had from this module. First, we ran the Bronco with the VR Tune module off with the stock trim, and this produced 254 wheel horsepower and 360 foot pounds of torque. Next, we got a clean run in level 5, which produced 286 wheel horsepower and 384 torque, which felt like a significant bump. But of course, everybody wants to know how much power we gained in level 7, and here it is. Our level 7 run came back with 303.6 wheel horsepower and 414 foot-pounds of torque, which is a gain of 49 wheel horsepower and 53 foot-pounds of torque. We weren't expecting to get this close to VR Tune's claimed numbers on California 91 gas, so we're pretty happy. Those are significant gains, and the horsepower number is very close to their 93 octane claims. Now just a note, we did the best we could with the fans to keep the Bronco cool, but we noticed significant heat soak issues with each run, and we had to let the Bronco cool down for a few minutes between each pull. And we're sure that an intercooler is going to be an important upgrade in the future, especially for those looking to make big power, so subscribe to the channel to check that out when it comes around. If you're ready to get this power, go ahead and click this link right here to get the Bluetooth version, and we'll put a link to the non-Bluetooth version in the description of the video. Now, we really like the Pedal Commander, and we got a video for that right here. We think it's a great complement to help you access this extra power, and they really work well together. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for all of our upcoming videos, and let us know how we can help you by calling us at 833-MOTOROSO. Thanks for watching.